Are you ready? Are you ready? I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. Like that. hi my lovelies welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing amazingly well so in today's video we're going to be talking about some amazing products by lush but before i start this video please make sure you are subscribed to my channel kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is now i'm going to share my routine today because i'm smelling really really good now i didn't entirely use lush items for my routine this morning but I used this Pears and Share by Body Shop, which I am so in love with. Unfortunately, this was a lim limited edition. And sadly, um, Body Shop have gone into administration. So I don't know how much of their products we're going to get to buy. But I've definitely stocked up on a few of these. And some of the few favorites from Body Shop, I've also stocked up on them. But this one is a juicy pear. Um, shower gel that smells unreal it smells like a realistic super fruity and sweet pear scent and then i moisturized with my pears and share um, body butter which is really really moisturizing it says here it's a 96 hour moisture it is not but then i have really dry skin so that could be the reason why it's not 96 hours i would say it would give you a good 24 hour moisturization which is good enough for me and then i went ahead and sprayed golden pear which is empty now um this i bought back in 2022 i think um i had like two of these it's completely done now they don't do these anymore unfortunately but they might bring it back during the festive period so it's completely done now now this smelled like a juicy pear with some citruses to give it a little bit of a brightness and a freshness i'm not gonna go on about this because you can't get it anymore but believe me when i tell you it smells unreal and then i used amorous intense by navitas and ai the great to top up now if you have this perfume you know it's a juicy pear apple scent it has some musk as well and it kind of has a little bit of a dna of ambrosia imperial not so much but you can tell that they're kind of like distant cousins which i love i feel like these perfumes are super super intense and very long lasting on my skin anyway this is a spring summer staple for me i really really enjoy this perfume if you like super fruity scent you are going to enjoy amorous intense for sure now let's move on to the products that i have now this is a highly requested video and here i am giving it to you so i'm going to do all of the body sprays and i'll do the body butters and the body wash and the scrubs anyhow let me introduce you to one product actually before i move on to the list now this one is called grease lightning it looks like this well it's not supposed to look like that but i'll leave a picture up there but this if you have you know those pimples that are underneath your skin that hasn't come out yet and they are super painful and so uncomfortable slap this baby on there and i tell you the way the spot will come protruding out and it will come out of your skin and you can if you decide to press it i press my spot yes i do they tell you not to press it but i'm not going around with a yellow spot or a white spot on my face i'm not gonna do that so i press that out and then i put pseudo cream on top of it and by morning it is magically gone not completely but you can't see anymore and most importantly the pain is gone so if you want something that would almost draw out it sounds so disgusting but the pus <laughs> in your spot grease lightning is the one like even if you have a spot that's out you can still use it but i find that it's most effective when the spot is not already it's not already out or if you're like really itchy on a particular part of, of your face you know that's either some allergy or you've got some spot coming out at that stage slap this on it's a jelly consistency it's like a really thick jelly you put it on let me even show you so this is what it looks like so you put it literally on the spot so you have to be very precise you put it on and you just leave it don't rub it in you don't need to let it let it do its thing it's going to dry you're going to see it dry up after a few hours wash it off again put it back on again like i want to say three times in the day by the next day the thing will be gone trust and believe you follow that routine trust and believe it works for me anyway so i definitely urge you to try it out so now we're going to talk about the body sprays for me lush they have one of the most long lasting 
great smelling body sprays out there i will pick a lush spray over bath and body wax because they don't smell juvenile generic they don't smell like your regular body sprays this is why i love them so much i have been wearing um body sprays by lush for many 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 years and i want to say i smell all of them i don't have all of them because i don't love all of them but these are the ones that i truly truly love now i'm gonna start with let the good times roll yes i know the bottles are not <laughs> that aesthetically pleasing but it's okay it's okay because i'm used i actually can't imagine lush with a different type of packaging i don't know i like it ish but um yeah so let the good time roll has a buttery popcorn scent to it it's not too sweet it's very light and it sprays like this so basically you have like a lock here the white thing here is a lock which you have to move out of the way and then it sprays like that <laughs> like you're about to clean <laughs> but i love this like i said it's a buttery popcorny scent with a freshness to it if you like if you have any gourmand perfumes in your collection you can layer it with this it smells good guys this smells good this might be my favorite one uh, actually no i don't even know at this point but this is really really good trust and believe and they are they retail from about 20 pounds to 35 pounds the prices have gone up everything is expensive now but i feel like this is really good so these are 200 new bottles which i feel like is value for money now the next one is honey i wash the kids another one that is a little bit gourmand now this one has a citrusy twist it's got brazilian orange oil but to me remind myself it smells like a soapy honeyed citrus scent yeah it has like a very fresh vibe to it but you can smell the honey mixed with some kind of soapy scent it may sound really weird but trust me it smells very very good the honey in here it's not like any kind of honey scent i've smelled in anything because it's very refined it's a very light and airy type of honey it's not a deep and heavy stinky honey because for me Honey has to be done to perfection for me to enjoy it in a perfume. So if you don't like any perfume with honey in it, you can definitely get this one instead. It's actually perfect for all year round. The next one is discontinued, but I'm just going to mention it anyway. This is Yog Nog. This one, I've had it past the expiry date. This actually expired last year. <laughs> it says used by. Oh, by the way, they all have a use by date. It also um, shows the person that makes this. Um, the person that makes this is actually called Alex. So I bought this in 2019 and it expired in 2023, like late last year. But I'm still going to use this because Yognog smells like a super sweet, sticky, toffee, caramel scent that isn't too cloying. Because they are, they are body sprays, they're not heavy. So you're not going to get that heavy, thick, syrupy, annoying scent because again they're very very light i love this i love this the scent is a lot more subtle now when i first got this it was very very pungent like super super strong but now it's gone a little bit subtle which i really really enjoy so that is yognog that is sadly been discontinued now we have a snow fairy this is my favorite this is a bright happy scent this puts me in the mindset of pink sugar by aquilina which is quite a young <laughs> smelling perfume but i love it i really love it this is a little a little bit a smidge more mature than that perfume and it smells better in my opinion but think of something that is very 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 sweet now this one smells like candy floss and bubble gum like a realistic Hubba bubba bubble gum, super, super intensely sweet. You have to like a sweet scent to really love this. Now, this only comes out around December. This is a Christmas perfume. So I always buy like four or five of these because I get it for my daughter and I absolutely love it. I wear this every single time. Like I wear this. This is not a seasonal perfume for me. I mean, body spray. It's one that I wear just when I'm feeling a brightness and i just want to feel super super happy i spray this on it's very very sweet like i said i feel like once it's like around november times they tend to bring out snow fairies like a yearly one which is great 
and i would recommend you guys get it because it smells very very lovely again you must like a very sweet <laughs> smelling scent now the next one is the comforter now this is a very very much like a like a burst of juicy fruity scent ah oh, it smells like rabina yes this is what this smells like the purple rabina i'll leave a picture there it literally smells so sweet very fun very happy again it sounds like it'll be too sweet or like it may be juvenile it's not i promise you it just smells like i'm trying to make you guys smell it from the screen it smells like ribena but in a perfume form it smells very juicy lots of fruits super super nice super super bright it just makes you happy when you spray it so that is the comforter next we have a collaboration that was done with mario's brothers and this is princess peach this smells very similar to the comforter remember i said that this one smells like the purple ribena now this one smells like the red ribena so they're quite similar limited edition but you can still get this one so for me i prefer this it just has a little bit of a of a freshness to it this one is super super sweet which i also love of course but luckily they smell so similar you're not missing out on much if you didn't get to get this one this is definitely like perfect now princess peach is very very it's like a child like scent it almost gives me princess vibes which is not a bad thing but i want something that's giving queen vibes you know what i mean um this is a very young smelling scent although they're very similar this is a little bit different like i said purple ribena red <laughs> ribena but yeah it's really really nice and i do enjoy this scent and last but not least in terms of the sprays is rose jam rose jam is the most mature of all of the scents in my opinion now this is a super sweet rosy scent that is quite sugary but it's not cloying now this one has sicilian lemon in the opening so you get a brightness a freshness a somewhat tartness which is not a bad thing because immediately this turns into a very bright and rosy jammy scent which i really really love this comes with a body cream which is just if you pair them together you are going to get beast mode performance for the old day so rose jam is one of my favorites by the brand and this one is always available so definitely get your nose on this one so now we move on to the shower gels and the body scrubs and the body cream we have rose jam body wash right here i just mentioned rose jam not too long ago i feel like if you get this and you use the body conditioner which i'm going to share now you will get an intensely rosy sweet scent that i feel like is just going to brighten up your day i love this about lush and you get the vibe when you go into their stores there is something just happy about the environment and i feel like the scent actually give me that feeling of happiness anyway rose jam is a body wash that you don't need a lot little goes along with lather as well makes your skin feel so supple and smooth and amazing now this is the body conditioner it smells like roses sugar um it's lovely now this is what it looks like on the inside it also has a powdery vibe to it especially with the with the body conditioner it moisturizes so well like there's no no ash will be in sight with this body butter is beautiful and it's readily available so next we have the sticky date sugar scrub which i'm obsessed with and i also have the sticky date body scrub now they are very different this is a limited edition which i think a lot of people try to buy but they couldn't find it i have not touched it because i am savoring it now that's what it looks like on the inside it's got that shimmery thing in the middle it smells unreal like sticky toffee caramel scent is what you get from the body scrub and you have the body scrub again here but this consistency is different this is like a jelly like consistency it smells delicious this one lathers into like a soapy type of texture which is really really nice again a stickily sweet toffee caramelly scent which i'm really really obsessed with they came out with the body spray for the second time and i missed the drop so i am really really looking for sticky date spray if you've got it or you've bought it and you don't like it let me know i will happily buy it off you or if you want to give me a sample i will happily buy it off you like i will take or buy it off you 
i need that spray like yesterday i think is the best smelling spray in the entire world i'm going by the body scrubs which i have i'm going by the cream and i know the spray will smell so so good so if you have that and you don't want it or you want to sell it slide into my dms on instagram and just let's have a conversation these are really really good products oh the last sticky date item is the body lotion i am obsessed i'm in love this is great this is a limited edition which i don't know why they've done that like this should be a staple like we should be able to get this but i advise you if you want to smell like a sweet caramel toffee scent definitely go and see if you can get your hands on the sticky dates body lotion and it moisturizes really really well also here we have posh chocolate smells exactly <laughs> like chocolate and i've nearly finished it but luckily i can repurchase this over and over again because they have it as a staple i'm obsessed it smells exactly like a milk chocolate bar exactly like that it lathers well makes your skin like super smooth this is not drying at all none of their products are drying trust me when i tell you posh chocolate is chocolatey and now we have posh white chocolate and rose and that's what it looks like now i don't know if they still have this please check i'm not sure if they still have it i will leave all the names down below and if i can find links i'll obviously link everything for you but this one i think this was a valentine's day special so they may not have it anymore it smells like white chocolates with realistic rose smells unreal lathers well same thing not drying amazing and then we have the yummy custard body wash this smells <laughs> oh my god this smells like a it has like a coconut vibe to it but it's like a milky coconut scent with some type of vanilla and custard scent to it now that's what it looks like it lathers well it smells good this is their staple so you can get this hopefully um from lush either on their website or in store wonderful yummy custard it's really really yummy and last but not least we have the snow fairy body lotion this is a happy <laughs> fairy smelling scent and it's pink also on the inside let me see the expiry date on this one now this oh sugar this expired last year december <laughs> listen it's been fine it's been fine i still used it yesterday so it's fine now you can pair this with the spray although i feel like those combos are gonna be so so sweet like too sweet in fact i do it because i like to smell super super sweet but it's not for everyone so if you're not feeling the sweetness you can decide to use them separately or together but i really really love now if i was to pick my top three spray i would say these are the ones that i highly highly recommend right so these three are my favorites starting with snow fairy at number three at number two i've got rose jam which i really really enjoy and at number one is let the good times roll i hope that has been super helpful i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you love lush let me know what product i should try out from lush like i said the sprays you don't see are the ones i don't like i think there's one that's quite popular called twilight i don't like it that's why i don't have it It just doesn't speak to me it's not my type of scent but i know a lot of people love that scent i also don't have any of their perfumes because i find their sprays to smell a lot better than their perfumes do um i've had their perfume in the past there's one called vanillary which is a perfume that is really challenging in the opening but the dry down is divine i would not recommend a blind buy they are really strong perfumes but i find that they smell really different from their sprays so get the sprays instead they are more cost effective and i feel like they are definitely more value for money so my lovelies that is it for today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye